What's up, guys? It's Jay, Borden they have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and last time we left off, we got our asses fucked up by a level 48 bunker, and we're level 43, and I also noticed that I have too many skill points that I should have at this point inside my, uh, you know, let's play, and the reason that happened is I told you guys I was gonna let you guys know what happened, is that I was playing on live stream with this guy, and I have no idea who he was, he was just a regular guy live stream, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, and he was playing Borderlands 2, and I was like, oh, that's cool, and he's like, hey, you wanna come play, and I was like, yeah, he only had a level 30, so I gibbed my Let's Play 30 Creed, uh, well, he was actually level 38 or 40 at the time, somewhere around, 39 actually, and I, uh, I gibbed him down, to 30 and uh, I saved him as an extra character and I'm pretty sure if we go right here we could see the uh, extra characters so you guys know that I'm not lying on trying to make my let's play any easier for you so let's go down to the select character see we got statutory ape fixed which is the one I just fixed and uh, we have this guy right here who we left off with last week and then where did he go I think I saved over top of him with statutory ape fixed <laughs> that's pretty hilarious Alright, so we are using Statutory Ape Fixed. Oh wait, no, this is the character we were using last week. Yeah, because he's level 43. The other one you could see was level 40 right there. There we go. Uh, level 43 and level 40. Alright, yeah, so we didn't, we didn't save over top this one, but we also have that one. So this guy should be fixed. I went to the Gib Save Editor and I synced all the points to what I have at my level. So I'm gonna go ahead and respec and see if this actually does anything for us. Let's see if we can't remember our spec. Where are we going here? We got, we got one, two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my standard layout here. Uh, for those of you guys that wanted me to do a Krieg build, I mean, pretty much you're watching my Krieg build in action, uh, leveling up. But the, the only thing that really matters with my, see, I have 48 skill points. That is, uh, that is not right. So what we will do here is, uh, I guess we'll just go, one, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna pick this up right here. We're gonna go down here. Look at this. I I know this tree by fucking heart. And we pick up some silence the voices. I know you guys hate that. I hate it too. But you know what? Fuck it. We'll grab some of this. Uh, actually, you know what? Kill skill. Blah blah blah. We're gonna get the damage reduction, and then we should be. Uh, what's that? Twenty six plus five. That's thirty six. I think we should be right now. We need two more skill points, so we'll go right there. I am nine. Is it? Is that right? Nine skill points ahead. Um. All right. So what I'll do next time is actually, you know what? I think we could do this right now. Let's go to quit. We'll go to save and quit right there, and then we'll take this guy. We're gonna quit out of Borderlands. I know, right? This is the craziest let's play you've ever seen. So we go here. We go to downloads, we open up the save editor right here. Fantastic. Hopefully, hopefully this will work. And then we go to open, and we go all the way down to save 22, because that's the one that I just made right there. Statutory 8 fixed. And then we just go sync, sync. Um, yeah, I think, I think this should work. So let's go ahead and save that. Maybe it'll get rid of those nine extra. Yes, we want to replace that. All right. Maybe that'll get rid of those nine extra skill points. If you guys know how to do this without me doing all this shit, uh, let me know, because I really do want to fix that. I, I really, I don't want like eight, nine extra skill points. Unless I'm level 72, then I'll have 11 extra skill points. And we've already broken news about that over the weekend that Gearbox has released that there is going to be a level 72 ultimate Volt Hunter mode motherfucking upgrade. How sick is that? That is, uh, that's quite amazing. I know a lot of people out there are actually really worried right now, though, about level 72. They're like, oh my god, they, they looked up the numbers and it's scaling and they're like, oh shit, this is gonna be fucking shitty as fuck, right? Oh, look at that! Look at that! I think, I think we're fixed. So, let's see, this is level 5. That would be level 5, right? So we got 26, 27, 28, 38, 38 plus 5 would be level 43. We are fixed, gentlemen. We are fixed. But you know what? I'm level 43. And I am not running my ass back up to the bunker. I guess the reason why it was easier for me to run up to the bunker was because I had all those skill points. So what we're going to do here is we're going to 
what do I got here? Do I got anything level 43? You know what? Yeah, let's use the gentle octo. And then we'll pick up a, what is that? A hard rifle. That's level 43. And we got our rapier. And then we got our quality plasma. I, I think we're all right here. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to run through a DLC. I know, right? I know. The only reason I'm doing hammerlocks is because honestly, oh man, I'm about to fight Jackenstein. That's pretty shitty. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to fight any flying bosses like fucking, uh, dude, I swear to God, fucking Pistons Blimp in Torg with Krieg is, is just completely, completely unmanageable unless you have him built for guns. And I, I'm not a fan of respecting my characters to go ahead and do shit like that. So, yeah. Anyway, we're here inside of Hammerlock's motherfucking DLC and we're going to start the Q&A. What? Q&A. That's right. I said Q&A. I didn't do my Q&A yesterday because I was live streaming a little late. I played a little bit of Minecraft. Everything was going good. We were having a little bit of fun. I put that up and a few of you guys watched it. Not a lot. I don't have a lot of Minecraft subscribers left. And a lot of people that were playing Borderlands was like, what the fuck is this game? It has shitty graphics. And I was surprised that not a lot of people out there have actually heard of, uh, have heard of Minecraft. That's a, uh, I'm pretty sure like everybody, every gamer in the world has heard of Minecraft. But you know, Shit happens. Shit happens. I've, I've heard of games. You guys have it. You've heard of games. I haven't. So, you know what? We're not going to worry ourselves with that. But let's get into the first motherfucking question from Paid Rain Cloud 4. And he says, what is your favorite childhood memory? And if you answered this already, what is the best thing that's ever happened in your life? Uh, well, the best thing that probably ever happened in my life was my kid being born, because my son being born really lit a fire underneath my ass, especially if you watch my last Road to 30, where I actually had to leave New Jersey, I left for California, and I was leaving my son at the same age of, uh, you know, that my dad left me, and I was going to the same state that my dad left me to, so, uh, damn, uh, that's not good. <laughs> that's, uh, let's see if we can't take this drifter out. That's not, that's, damn. Damn it, that is, that is terrible. Not good. Let's, let's, let's TD or him. Can we TD or him? Oh! What was that? Did I hit him in the ball sack? Did I hit you in the motherfucking, so you know what? We're just gonna go fuck these guys up. We need as much XP as possible before we head back in there. Oh, there we go, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey. Woo! We hit. Oh, you scumbag! Really? Oh, baby! <laughs> I'll just slag bitches up all day. We'll do that. Hey, let me go, bitch! <laughs> I hate these witch doctors. They're such pains in the asses, aren't they? They really are. So yeah, like I said, uh. My, when I left my son, you know, that really lit a fire underneath my ass. I was like, man, look, I need to take this opportunity that I have right now, and I need to fucking, you know, I need to do something with myself. I need to get off my fucking ass, get onto my feet, and do something worthwhile. Because, you know, sitting around in a hood just wasn't doing it for me. It just, it really wasn't. And that's not something... That you really want to, you don't want to be a loser your entire life, you know? And I felt like a loser at that point. I was like, man, you know, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like the person that I've become. And that's a, that's a real fact right there when you really don't like your own self, you know? I mean, that's kind of, what, why is that? Oh, right, two, two, four, three, yeah! We'll go with the Torg, a bang stick, baby. We love these Torg weapons, don't we? What, wait, wait. It, it looked like it looked like the same TDR I had, but I guess that had a torque barrel, or this has a TDR barrel on it. I'm not fucking sure. I'm not sure, but yeah, my son would probably be the best thing that's ever happened in my life. And my favorite childhood memory I've talked about on my road to 30 is uh, one Christmas, my uncle was, you know, we had all the whole family there. This was before my grandmom died, and I'm pretty sure... That's why it's my favorite memory is because it was before my grandma died. My entire family was still together and uh, we were still... She was really the glue that held the entire family together, you know what I mean? And my uncle gave me $10 worth of quarters for fucking 
uh, I think it was either my birthday or Christmas. I'm pretty sure it was Christmas. And uh, he couldn't open them, but he fucking, he used his teeth to open them and quarters went flying everywhere. It's not a really funny story, but I mean, just the fact that uh, my whole family was there probably makes it one of my funniest and, uh, you know, favorite childhood memories, I guess. I guess you could say that. And the next question is from Alex Jones. He says, growing up through life, what is the thing you do you regret doing most? Look, man. I played that game a long time ago. Uh, I, I I stopped worrying about trying to regret things, trying to change the past, trying to think, what could I have done differently? If you think like that, you are going to kill yourself, honestly. You are going to kill yourself emotionally inside. Uh, you might actually end up fucking ending your own life because you can't look back on the past, man. You can't look back and be like, what could I have done differently? Because it's done. What's done is done. And you can't fucking change it. So, you know, there's no point in trying to change it, right? I, I That's what I think. Hey, look at these motherfuckers. These these motherfuckers ain't getting hit hard. Hmm. Woo. Hey. Ha <laughs> ha, baby. All right, so that's our new our new series here is going to be... Uh, uh, hey, don't you block my melee pussy. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll block it with my face. It's no big deal, guy. It's no big deal. So yeah, uh, stop trying to worry about, you know, fixing the past, changing the past. There's nothing you could do to fucking change that. And there's no point fucking trying to, you know, worry about it. So we'll move on. Next question is going to be from fucking Ball Python. What up, Ball Python? Uh, he says, my favorite, uh, his favorite band is Pantera. What do I think of them? I think Pantera is a great American metal band. Uh, you, you, you can't get any more world class than the music that they fucking produce. It's, it's amazing. It literally is. But, you know, there is one sad part about it is that you have, uh, you have big egos from, uh, you know, Phil Anselmo and Mr. Uh, Dimebag Darrow. They had their differences and it didn't work out. And it was kind of sad because both of them are, like I said, world class fucking artists. They are, they're both amazing at what they do. Phil is probably one of the most, I, I, I guess, recognizable. Ow, I hit the wrong button. Phil Anselmo's voice is probably one of the most recognizable voices in metal today. And the fact that him and Dimebag couldn't get together and uh, create more music is a shame. So uh, they, they broke it off and they're no more. So that's Pantera, man. I love me some Pantera, but it, it just wasn't meant to be, was it? At least we got a few good albums out of them. And some of the greatest fucking music that I enjoy today, I love. Like, my favorite song by Pantera is Cemetery Gates. I mean, how can you dislike Cemetery Gates? I, I went to watch it on YouTube the other day, and there are people all talking about Justin Bieber on there. And I was like, what the fuck does this song have to do with Justin Bieber? It has nothing to do with the Bieber. Leave the Bieber alone. Let him destroy his life on his own terms. And, uh... The next question is from Abid Nadir, and Abid says, Jay, do you like ice cream? Well, I'm lactose intolerant, so ice cream is not something that I get down with very often. Uh, what's my favorite flavor? I like vanilla, and I also like buttered pecan. Uh, I know that's like a 50-year-old person's ice cream, but you know what? Fuck it. I like my senior citizen ice cream. You can go fuck yourself if you don't like it. Buttered pecan is delicious. It really is. But uh, he says, are you very healthy? Uh... I'm alive. That's about as healthy as it gets, isn't it? Uh, as far as like communicable diseases and like long-term illnesses, uh, no, I'm I'm pretty clean and clear right there. But I mean, healthy living, not not really. I mean, I like bacon. I like cheeseburgers. I like to fucking you know. I like to have fun in life. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about fucking being the model of perfect fitness in this world because there are other people that do that for you. So let me eat my bacon, motherfucker. My bacon old. Like my grandpa, yo. My grandpa died when he was like, I think he was like somewhere in the 80s or some shit. But anyway, this motherfucker ate bacon. Like, I'm sh I shit you not. Like, he ate like, like nine strips of bacon for breakfast every goddamn day. He drank every single day for like 40 years. I mean, the guy was not a very quote unquote healthy person. But, you oh shit, 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 shit. Get away from me. I hate these boats. They hurt. The boats hurt. Ah! 
But yeah, my grandpa ended up living till he was like 80. You know, he's fucking enjoyed his life. And, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that that guy doesn't regret anything of that either. We got to take out this witch doctor like A fucking S A P. No leveling up for you, bitch. Oh, he's fucked. Oh, uh, maybe I'm fucked. Woo, all right. We, we can't let them level up bitches because right now, like I said, we might be a little tad under... Hey! Get out of here. Nothing for you. It's all mine! <laughs> so, the one thing I've noticed is that we can't do our badass thing so long because we don't have the extra skill points. That kind of blows ass, but you know what? It, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hey! Get out of here, witch doctor. Let's just beat on his back. <laughs> Fucking hey! Oh, you scumbag pieces of shit! Woo! -hoo -hoo. So, uh, the next question. Let's move on. Uh, is from Matt Bishop. Matt Bishop says uh, a lot of things. He says, "Do you play Diablo 3? No, no, I do not. Uh, he says, "If so, what do you think of it compared to Diablo 2?" Uh, well, I can't compare it because I I've never played it. Woo! Hey! Damn this! So many enemies! Hey! And we gotta get- Oh, my fucking screen is covered in blood! <laughs> oh, shit. Where's he at? Where'd he at, motherfucker? So, uh, yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. It is Mike Saxio with the mic. He says, did you ever listen to anything from Easy e or uh, Ice Cube? Fuck yeah, man. I, I told you last episode. I was listening to NWA back in the day and shit like that, and both of them motherfuckers were in NWA. You need to pay attention, Mo, motherfucker. That that, that kind of does piss me off a little bit sometimes, though. When I when I answer a question in a fucking uh, uh woo, that was close. That was real fucking close. Uh, that wasn't though. <laughs> there we go. Wow, he just dropped two skins. Hey. Get out of here, Marsh Drifter. Oh, I hit him in the sack. Die. These drifters are tough without a fucking sniper rifle. Zero's uh, Forever Alone though, really does work on those fucking drifters. It just plows right through them with boar. Anything with boar, really. Boar is fucking amazing skill. So, let's go ahead and move on. Oh, we leveled up, baby. Let's go ahead and get another skill point. So, those of you guys that were wondering what my skill tree for Krieg is, though, this is what I run with, the Mania tree right here. Anything else is either a variation on the uh, two trees here. I kind of find Hellborn. Uh, Hellborn might be useful when we get up to level 72. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of that yet, but I do like the uh, Bloodlust tree over here, getting down to Blood Explosion. Because if you do that, you got uh, you got some good shit going on. Is this... That's not what I need to do. I need to get over here. So, uh, yeah, we've listened to Easy e and Ice Cube. And actually, one of my favorite songs, uh, Today Was a Good Day, was made by Ice Cube. That's a that's a damn good song. So, Paintball Freaks has the next question. He says, hey, Mac, for this week's Q&A, uh, can you put a little bit more GCI content, like old gameplay? Here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. Those, those gameplays I have that I use are actually recent gameplays. They weren't old gameplays. I don't have any of my old gameplays anymore because I did switch, uh, what do you call that? I switched out my new PC for my old one and I gave my son my gaming PC for his birthday, which, uh, he was really happy about getting, you know, a thousand dollar gaming PC for his birthday. So, uh, my two new computers are made by CyberPower specifically for me. They, they custom built these and they're, they're freaking amazing computers, and I don't have any of my old footage. So, uh, it's just really luck of the draw if I can get into a lobby that's actually not laggy and that doesn't kick me out. Because every time I try to play Gotham City Imposters, it just kicks me out of lobbies. And it's not fun. It really isn't. So, uh, Mr. Cheech1977 says, dude, I got a question for you. When your son gets close to driving, are you going to do a father-son project? Or are you just going to help him find a car? Uh, that's a good question, actually, because my son's not really into cars. However, I didn't get into cars until I was, like, 16, too. So, uh, you know, it's it's possible that he might be into cars one day. But as of right now, it looks like that I'll probably just end up, uh... Oh, shit, it's a super badass! 
That is not good. And it's a slagged one, too. Woo-wee. These motherfuckers. There we go. That's what I wanted. Then I could just end everybody's fucking life. There we go. Hey. Hey. Stay away from me. You terramorphous looking motherfucker. Pleated. Pleated. I got axes to go through them plates, baby. I don't need that corrosion. <laughs> so, uh, no, it doesn't look like we're going to be building a father-son project car. But uh, if anything, you know, I I'd like to get him something decent. Because I remember when I was a kid, like I said, all I wanted was a cool car. And to me, a cool car was T-Top's back-wheel drive and V8. So, uh, I, I think... I think, if anything, I'll probably end up building him, like, some sort of Camaro or anything. Because Camaros are real easy to put together anyway. I mean, all you gotta do is find a nice body, and you can pretty much put any fucking motor you want into that goddamn thing. Like, dead serious. Any fucking motor. Alright, so, the next question's from Joshua Bins. And that wasn't a jump cut right there, actually. I just stopped to take a drink of my soda. As you can hear... My voice is a little bit rough right now. Uh, allergies are kicking in in my area. The uh, dust, pollen, all that shit, really fucking me up. So that's why I didn't. Uh, I didn't commentate last night while I was playing my Tomb Raider. Is I, I wanted to save my voice for my Q and A because it's it's pretty rough talking for like two three hours. And I ended up live streaming Tomb Raider for six goddamn hours. That was that was a great fucking game too. And I, I thought I was close to the end. And then I fucking, uh, the game crashed on me. Not my computer. My computer didn't crash. Those of you guys that were there seen it, it said the game had a fatal fucking exception and error. But, uh, you know, the game loaded right back up. My, dude, my Titan. Holy shit, dude. The Titan, I ran that game at max settings for six fucking hours straight while live streaming. Now, that is amazing for a video card to handle that, and it wasn't pumping out hot air at all anymore. It was just pushing cool air out because, you know, my computers are liquid-cooled. They are liquid-cooled. So, uh, the next question is going to be, oh, look at that critical hit on the tail, baby. Woo! Bang stick. Watch this. Bam! Oh! God damn it. Silence the voices always fucks me up, man. Oh, so, you know what? Let's just move on because Joshua Bins does have the next question. And he says, I like this girl. That is my dance partner. All right. And he goes, however, our parents are forbidding me from dating her. Uh, that's a shitty situation. And he says, what would you do in this situation? Now, see, what I would do in this situation is not necessarily what you should be doing in this situation. Because honestly, I would just date the girl anyway. And you need to realize, like, is it is it worth it? Is it worth getting in trouble to see this girl? And if it is, if it's if it's worth your time to get in trouble with your parents to go see this girl, then do it, man. Do you. But I, I'm not going to tell you to go ahead and dis disobey your parents, you know, 100% like out the gate. I'm just going to be like, you know what? If it's worth it to you, then you do what you got to do, man. I, I, can't, I can't tell you guys what not to do with your life, you know? You guys are going to do what you're going to do regardless of what I have to say. So, uh, hopefully you do what you got to do, man. Do everything. And no regrets, man. No regrets in life, dude. Fucking, if you're going to do something, stick by what the fuck you do. I hate seeing people make excuses for their own actions. It's like, dude, why? Why are you going to make your own fucking... Why are you going to make excuses for your... Jesus Christ, Craig! I can't even open up a skag pile. Watch, it's going to do it again. Oh. Sniper. Oh, it's a murder muck. Muck and mucks are really high damage for their levels. So we're going to we're gonna pick that up. We Electrified Torment, we can pretty much send that on its way. We're going to send that away. But, uh, yeah. Next question is from Jack Brown. Jack Brown says, do you like roller coasters? Uh, not really. Uh, the only roller coaster I ever really did like was the Batman ride at Six Flags and Medusa. Medusa was a really cool fucking, uh, you know, roller coaster. But I have an irrational fear of heights for no reason. So, uh, those, those times when I went on Medusa and everything, I actually worked at Six Flags. So it was kind of like, you know, it was, it was all right. I, I, I knew that everything was safe and 100% fine. But, uh, no, I don't go on random roller coasters. It's just, uh, not a good idea. 
Not a good idea for me to be. Oh, uh, look at him. Yeah, baby. Baby, baby. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go on. Next question is for Frozen John 12. He says, do you play fucking Pokemon? No, 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 no. That shit. That shit came out. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. What, can I pick this up? Can I pick it up? No. Come up. Oh, it wasn't alive. I was shooting at the wrong thing. That thing was dead. Why was he dead? He was standing up. Did you see that? Did you see that shit? But no, Frozen John, I didn't play no Pokemon. That shit was... I was way too old for that shit. I was working at Burger King back in the day when they were fucking selling those Pokemon gold traded cards. And they had all these little Pokeballs that you could get inside of the fucking, uh... What do you call that? Inside of the uh, Happy Meals, you know, the kids' meals. You guys probably remember that. You might even have some of those gold-plated Pokemon cards laying around right now. You might even. So that's uh, pretty funny. And Ninja Panda says, do you play PC with a controller? Uh, Yeah, right now this is a controller. I'm not, This is my mouse. You see the difference between the sensitivity. Uh, I, I actually like Borderlands with a controller better. Uh, however, for like games like... Uh, what do you call- oh shit, he's- he's one tough cookie! I should've watched my health last time though, I was trying to- trying to pop that release the beast at the wrong time. There we go. Woo! Once we get- yeah, see? Once we do that, and then we just kill all these little scorpion little fuckers. Boom, baby! Oh, we gotta get that slagged one out of here. Level 45? Fuck you, motherfucker! Hey, where did that one go? <laughs> So let's throw that bitch out there right now. Suck all these motherfuckers together. And then hit him with a boomstick, baby. Hey. These guys are tough. The boomstick's pretty shitty, though. Uh, let's go. Boom, baby. I am level four 44 now, aren't I? Uh, that's why they're being level 45. I should, I should see what kind of level 44 shit I got. Don't I have something that's level... No, that's 46. Plump Spitter. That, uh, hard rifle, I'm gonna go with the plump spitter, because the hard rifle has a really shitty fire rate. And this fire rate's a little bit better. That's not... God damn it! Where's... Motherfucker. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, I, I could deal with this. I could deal with a plump spitter, baby. Woo-wee! It's like a Gatling gun. It feels weird shooting with Krieg. It feels... Oh, God. Damn it. You wanna... Yeah, there we go. Thank you. I'm just gonna let him hit me from now on, and I'm just... Motherfucker. That shit... They really need to fucking put an internal cooldown on that shit. Like, seriously? I am tired of hitting myself in the face over and over again. With that fucking... Uh, no. You see when they do that, that flip shit? Uh... Yeah, that means they're going to spawn more of those little turd balls. He's resistant explosion. That's not cool. I didn't think there was a lot of... Uh, yeah, see? There comes the turd balls. Let's throw one of these down for him. Oh, baby. Oh, you just got fucked up. Look at this motherfucker. Dermatage is real easy, actually, though. He's not that bad. He's not that bad. Let me shoot him right in the fucking tip of his dick. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, I played Borderlands on PC with a controller just because it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit more comfortable for me. Let's go. Hit me one more time. Baby, hit me one more time. Wow. You scumbag. He's resisting my melee. Um, where's my fucking TDR? Yeah, there we go. Wow, what a scumbag. Ooh, lump a hand cannon. Lumpy hand cannon. We get rid of this fucking double penetrating hand cannon, right? Uh, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll keep the double penetrating one. Let's get rid of the... No, I'm going to keep the Moxie Ruby pistol for now. I, I know you guys are like, why? Why are you doing that? We'll, we'll show you in a minute. We'll show you one day. Uh, Let's get rid of this. What am I using right here? Melee, right? Yeah, let's get rid of the max health. That doesn't really help shit out anyway. 
We'll pick up that lump of hand cannon, booster shield, sap and defender, right? Is eh, it's it's not too bad. So, uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Shy Town all the way is back. Welcome, welcome back. He says, I don't know if you've been asked this, but do you like any of the Rocky movies? Uh, I've seen a few of them, but I mean, if you've seen one Rocky movie, you've seen them all, and it's pretty much like uh, that. That's Sylvester Stallone for you. All his movies are pretty much the same. I'm not a real big Sylvester Stallone fan, although I do like Judge Dredd and uh, Demolition Man. That that was a boss ass movie. Wild Scarab. We don't want that, but that is Torg. What what is what what's that compared to my spitter? That has higher damage and a lower fire rate. I don't I'd rather have a faster fire rate right now to be honest. Just because uh just because I can. I can Oh uh, shit. Uh we could do the Krieg Invincible glitch here, I'm pretty sure actually, right? No, no, no. We're not gonna do that. We're, we're just gonna keep going. Fuck it, baby. Let's move on. Super Kool-Aid Man says, You should have a second channel for other games that aren't Borderlands 2. Why? Why would I do that? Well, I could just put them on my regular channel. I'm not like one of those YouTubers that are like, Oh my god, I gotta have one content and one content only. You're not allowed to see any other games on my channel but what you know for me so that that's stupid i think that uh, that's not something i really want to do with my channel i just like yesterday i put up the minecraft video right i told you guys it didn't get as many views as my borderlands videos does but i still got like two three thousand views on them and you know what that's good enough for me i'm not above getting two three thousand views i i hate when people are like oh but you have 49,000. Actually, yes, I do. I have 49,000 subscribers now. Thank you so fucking much for that shit. That shit's amazing. I was just thanking you guys for 48k like two days ago. That's crazy. Crazy talk. But, uh, yeah, I'm not above fucking getting less views on my channel for shit that I don't usually post up. Because, you know, that's how it's gonna be. It's like, it's like Fox. If Fox started posting up fucking, you know, I guess... Not, I don't know what, what, well, Fox posts, like, everything, so, like, alright, if Fox started cooking shows on um, prime time, would you think they would get as many viewers as they do with, uh, Family Guy in that time slot? No! Hell no, they wouldn't. They would not get nowhere near the amount of fucking views or, you know, I guess, I, they call them demographics and shit, but, uh, boom, baby, oh, baby, baby, Oh, and you're slag too? Welcome to the slag farm. I'm paralyzing witch doctor. I'm paralyzed. I'm about to paralyze your whole face with death. Hey, 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 hey. Get out of here, trigger. Oh, shit, it's another witch doctor. It's another bitch doctor. Come on! Are you fucking serious with that bullshit? God damn, man. I'm gonna make a oh, fucking silence to fucking. Voices montage, and I'm gonna send that shit to Randy Pitchford, and I'm gonna be like, I wish this was your face that was getting hit with this buzz axe, because you you guys need to fix that shit, man. That shit is broken. It is a broken fucking skill. Hey, like seriously, Krieg's melee ain't really worth a damn without Silence the Voices. So why the fuck would I not be using it? Like he's a melee character, and they gave you a character. Whose melee is just not up to par with zeros. Like, uh, that's why everybody's like, why don't you post melee zero shit? Man, I've been there and done that already, man. Fucking melee zero was my first zero. That is where I got my fucking, you know, my I cut my zero teeth on. And I, I don't want to go back to that. I've had enough fucking fun with that. Hey, why don't you, why don't you get fucking slagged? Yeah, there we go. Come on! I just want to be competitive! I want to be competitive against the enemies. And that's how you do it with Krieg's Melee. Krieg's Melee is his action skill. Could you imagine if, like, every now and then they had one of Zero's skills was, like, fucking you pull the uh, Deception and it just kills you? Just kills you instantly. No big deal. You know, Zero keeps it hood like that. <laughs> but, yeah, like I said... I I'm not above fucking, you know. Oh, what is that? That's a slag pistol. 
I kind of like that. And it's a Malawan. Malawan, baby. Let's, uh, shit. I got too much shit in here. Melee damage. Yeah, see, I don't want either one of those. I, I still got this one. Uh, even though this has more melee damage, I still, you know, man, let's go. I got a level 35 Firehawk Shield and 36 here. What's the Roy damage on that? Yeah, that's way lower. Fuck you, motherfucker. We're gonna take this slag pistol. Uh, so, you know what? I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna slag and bag from now on. Where is it at? Where is my pistol? There we go. Let's take a look at this. Where the fuck's this pistol at? Where you at, baby? Oh, it's kind of like a ruby. Kind of like a ruby. All right, so the next question's from Riz Kaspartan. And he says, can you play with your girlfriend or your son on your channel? No. No, we've already done my girlfriend shit before. But uh, we are not playing with my son on my channel. My son does not go on my channel for you guys. That's fucking... If, if you're going to ask that, you might as well just fucking unsubscribe because you're never going to get that on my channel. My son will never make an appearance. And the, I think that's really fucking rude of, of people to want me to bring my son onto my channel. I mean, seriously. I don't want my family involved with my YouTube. It's my YouTube's for fun. It's for me. It's for just, just for having fun. So I don't understand why people are so, you know... I don't know, like, obsessed with wanting to see people's families and see people's faces. It's it's getting annoying, man. It really is. Like, I don't, I don't want to come at you hard like that. But seriously, don't ask that shit, man. Don't ask my son. Like, people are like, can we see your son's picture? No! No! Why? Uh, fucking, I, why would I want to put my son in a situation to where people on the internet know what he looks like and if they want, they can fucking come poke him in the butt or some shit. I don't want none of that. That's fucking stupid, man. I don't want fucking my son having problems because I fucking do YouTube. You know, I would rather I would rather quit. If my YouTube bothered my son, I would close my channel. Down. I already told my girlfriend that too. With her, if she if she was bothered by my YouTube and she didn't like what I was doing, uh, I would close my account down. And I would see you guys later, and I'll figure out something else to do for fun. Because I'm not going to sit here... Oh, wait. Diesel blister. Oh, poop head. That sucks. I thought that was going to be a diesel sickle. I would have took that. I would have took the shit out of it. So, no. No son on my channel. Never. And I already do have videos with my girlfriend. You go find them. Uh, They're on my channel. Like, honestly, 100%. I'm not going to lie to you, but... Yeah, you're not gonna see my son on my channel ever, so don't don't ask again, please. Uh, the next question's from A. Jecker. He says, for next Sunday Q&A, sorry, sorry, sorry. He says, what are your beliefs about marriage? Uh, I don't need a piece of paper for somebody to tell me I love a girl. Uh, he said, how long have you been with your girlfriend currently? Uh, we've been together like five or six years now, and we're not gonna get married. We're never gonna get married, fucking... And there's no point. There's no point. I don't need a piece of paper to get married or be with a girl, you know? Fucking, that shit's stupid. Fuck the government. Why, sh why should I have to let the government know who I want to spend my life with? Seriously. Uh, Grant Federal, he says, uh, Jay, do you like Daniel Tosh? Uh, no. No, I, I don't like Tosh.0. Uh, that's not my style. It's not what I'd like to... Hey, where'd they all go? Fuck, fuck me. Get the slagged one. Woo, these guys. These guys are rough, man. They're fucking taking my... I need a new shield. That's what it is. Uh, shields are a placebo in this game. But you know what? Uh, until you hit level 61, you want to make sure you at least have an appropriate level shield, you know? You know what I mean? But uh, no, I don't like Tosh. I, I think think he's annoying. That's what I, that's what I think. So, uh... He also says, have you ever tried anal? Uh, I don't put anything in my butt, dude. Uh, have I put anything in a girl's butt? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not like... That's not an everyday type of thing, though. That's just... That's just once in a while, you know? You don't... You don't want to just fuck your girlfriend in the ass every goddamn day. Fuck, man. You gotta have a little bit of common courtesy not to fuck your girlfriend in the ass every day. Come on. Where's my Malawan at? Oh, wait. Never mind. Yeah. Hey. I forgot which button was the melee for a minute. <laughs> hey! 
Oh, shit. Oh, I did a double transformation while I was de-transforming. That is amazing. I love that. That was great. Right? No? Wait. I don't know what the fuck happened. Maybe I had a gun out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, uh, yeah. Let's move on to the next question. It's from Little Band. He says, have you ever seen Little Nicky? Hell yeah, seen Little Nicky. Wanna know why? Because Popeye's chicken is fucking awesome. <laughs> that shit's amazing. What is Claptrap trying to do down there? What is... Wh where are you going, bitch? Hey. Really? Every time I have somebody slag, Silence the Voices comes and says, Hello! Hey! <laughs> right in the ankle, bitch! Hey, where's he at? I see him over here. Right, there he is. Where is he going? Thank you. Hey! I just literally hit this guy and he took no damage. God damn it! I hate silence the voices. What? And you were following me the entire time, you scumbag. Let's uh, let's throw that over there. See if we can't slag everybody. Slag them all. Slag in a bag of them. <laughs> let's uh. Let's take care of the big guys first, because if we go down, the little guys are easy to take out. Oh, damn. He caught that axe right in the ass. Where are these motherfuckers at? Look at this guy just chilling all over here. Where are you going, baby? Oh. Oh, uh, there he is. And come on, you scumbag. Ooh, what a drop, what a drop, what a drop. Garbage. You dropped a Hyperion pistol. I don't want a Hyperion pistol, motherfucker. Not unless it's a Lady Fist. Lady Fists are amazing. Really? Ah, uh, you scum whore. Fuck you, Claptrap. I'm getting away from you as fast as possible. I already know where I have to go. So, yes, uh, the last question was, have I seen Little Nicky? Yeah, it's a great move. Ooh, sorry. Sorry, too many bears. It's like... Four o'clock in the afternoon when I'm recording this. This is like the latest I've ever done a QA. and a Like, during the actual daytime, I mean. Like, usually I, I do them at like fucking three in the morning. It's crazy. But uh, I've been upstreaming the last few nights. I've been having fun doing that. And uh, I want to thank all 50 people that come out to my streams because nobody else seems to. But, you know, it's all good. It's all good. I am appreciative of every motherfucker that watches anything I do. And, uh... The fact that anybody watches anything I do just fucking amazes the piss out of me, really. Hey, come on. These fucking scay lines are really becoming a pain in the dick. I'm going to leave him like that. There we go. I can. S I'm gonna what you always want to do is leave leave a weakened enemy against a big enemy like that in case you got to get up. I could have just popped one of these guys and kept moving. Kept on moving. So, uh, number one random Asian says, Have you ever heard about Hobson? He raps about the truth. If you don't, you should check him out. Actually, you know what? Hobson's not bad, but uh, if you ever heard of a guy, he actually did a, uh, what do you call that? He's part of the, the whole crew of uh, you know New Jersey Devil and fucking the rappers from New Jersey and shit like that. I think, I think they call themselves Livelihood and Black Wall Street and shit. But uh, they, they, them, uh, there's a guy that, that runs around with them. His name is, uh, his name is My Son. And my son speaks the truth, motherfucker. And uh, he actually did some uh, some of that Hobson shit over top. Do you remember that part of like Hobson Five where he's talking about you know uh, where Hobson was like you know he's real confused about what a real dude is and all that shit. Well, Hobson broke that shit down for him real fucking sweet and uh, did it over his beat. And I think Hobson even posted it on his channel. I think he did. So that that's actually kind of cool to see. That there's a community of rappers out there, just like there is a community of gamers out here on YouTube. So, hopefully, hopefully some of these undiscovered guys start getting their shit being seen, you know what I mean? That's a, that's why I, I let you guys know all the people whose music I use. Because I, I think there's a lot of really good, talented artists out there that just don't get their dues, you know what I mean? They don't get, they don't get what's coming to them. And that should be like, you know... They, they're the ones that should be on the radio. They're the ones that should be on the radio. Not fucking Lil Wayne and all these motherfuckers, man. That's a... 
That's the dead truth. The dead truth is there's so many bands out there that have been undiscovered that should have been discovered. Like, really? Seriously. Uh, one of them is a band that's called E-Town Concrete. They're a local New Jersey band, and they, they've they never really blew up the way they should have. They should have been, like, they, they should have been on top of the scene back in the day when, like, you know, fucking the new metal was out and, like, Slipknot, Disturb, fucking Limp Bizkit and all them were getting all their fucking money and shit. That's when E-Town should have been blowing up, but just never happened for them. And you know what? They're, they're all right with that because they still do shows at the Starland Ballroom, like, once a year. I do get to go out there and catch them. That's actually pretty cool, but, you know, it's just sad. It's the same thing with, like, gaming commentators. There's so many of them out there that, you know, the good ones often get overlooked. And people end up watching shitty people. Shitty people that fake their reactions. What? What did I say? Did I say that? Alright, so the next question is from Zoe H. James. And they have to say, have you ever played Pac-Man? Did you like it? Of course I played Pac-Man, man. Born in the 80s. My first fucking video game system was an Atari 2600. Of course. Oh, that's not good. We need to slag that one. That's like a rabid stalker right there. There we go. Slag him. Shit, he didn't slag. That's not good. Uh, fuck it. Let's just, uh, let's TD or this motherfucker. Boom, baby. Oh, shit. Um, stay away from him. Uh, huh, huh, huh. I'm just gonna use this like it's a buzz axe. Like, boop! There we go, fuck it. It might be overkill, but you know what? That wasn't overkill. Come on. Hey! What the fuck is hitting me? Jesus Christ. Hey! Oh, there we go! Thank you! You done what I wanted to do. And that's to hit you with an axe in the face. In the first. Oh. Oh, damn. That Borok. Just stop it. Stop it, Borok. Wait. Borok Pygmy. And we got to get this guy out of here. Before those fucking spores come after us. And we did not. We did not aggro the spores. That's good. We, You don't want to aggro the spores. Let's uh get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. Not cool, bro. Woo. <laughs> He's over there standing on fire. Let me help you out with that. You too. I'll help you all out with that shit. So we're making a good time through this DLC right now. Look at, look at all that motherfucker. What are you doing? What are you doing? Mm. Oh shit. That's not good. I don't know what he's saying, but it's not cool. What's uh oh I'm out of ammo. Not good, baby. There it is. We gotta take the witch doctor out before he levels up that badass. Woo, and the badass is behind me. There we go. We're uh we're kicking a little bit of hey! <laughs> that guy just got his ass whooped. Great. Now I can't get over the step! Can't get over that step, man. There's invisible walls all over this shit. So, that's pretty shitty. But, uh, King 1000 or 10,000, he has a lot of zeros. We'll just say that. King with a lot of zeros. So, and a one. He says, do you play Need for Speed? Uh, no, not really. Never was a real big Need for Speed fan. Uh, the only one I really liked was Need for Speed Shift and Need for Speed, uh, oh, what the fuck was that one? Uh, underground, underground, right? Need for Speed, underground, kind of like Midnight Club, right? But it was a little bit better, the cars handled better and shit, so... Yeah, I enjoyed those from back in the day, but nothing really from, like, any around this era. Because Need for Speed has the shittiest frame rate in the fucking world. And I can't play a racing game that has 30 frames per second. That's why I didn't play Forza Horizon. There's no point. I'm not playing a fucking racing game where it doesn't feel like I'm racing. Let's throw one of these down. Hopefully it'll suck them all together. And then they'll be slagged. Throw another one down there. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Come on. 
and I'm gone, baby. I'm gone. Did you see that? Let's go get that toilet. We're going to go get this toilet. Maybe there's going to be good shit inside there. So, uh, Robin Bull says if you woke up one day in a psychiatric hospital, uh, go, go watch my, my road to 30, man. You might, you might, you might be a little bit enlightened. <laughs> he said, but no memory of how you got there. What would you say to prove you're not crazy? Well, if I got no memory of how I got there, then, uh, maybe I deserve to be there. Maybe, maybe I took a bump on the head and I might have forgotten some pretty vital information. So, uh, I'm not actually sure about that question. That question doesn't really, doesn't register in my head very well. So, uh, Tom Cruise is here. Hello, Tom. Let Katie Holmes out once in a while. She deserves to go out and play. Uh, he says, I was just wondering what games you plan on playing in the future. Uh, Destiny, Grand Theft Auto 5. I mean, I, I've, I've gone over this a lot, dude. Like, and this is one of the reasons why today's Q&A is gonna be the last Q&A for me for a while. Is because I've answered every single one of these questions. And, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give you guys time. Because obviously I'm pumping out videos too fast right now for you guys to watch. Because all this shit can be found in another video, you know? In another Q&A. So I'm going to give you guys time to watch the rest of my videos. And maybe one day we'll come back to the Q&A. But uh, this, this will be my last Q&A uh, on my channel for a long time. Because I've answered everything. Answered it all. And, you know, give everybody time to go back and look and find out, you know... Cause, Cause there's nothing really more to ask, is oh there's so much shit all around here. Woo! I am just whooping ass. Look at this shit. Hey! Stop it! Ski Lion Reva! Oh yeah, that's not good. Come on! Why does every fucking animal in this game Fucking, it charges you when you have full health, right? But then when you go down, it just runs away. It's like, nope. Nope, I'm not going to fight no more. We're, uh, we're done here. We're done. Oh, this is actually higher capacity. But you know what? With a melee shield, you kind of want a lower capacity. So we're not going to take that. Fuck these. Look at all these fucking boat customizations. Don't nobody want no boat customizations. I don't... Dude, if the boats were able to be used in the regular game, then yeah, I would pick them up. But, you know, oh, it's a bushwhacker. I don't want a bushwhacker, even though I probably should. Bushwhackers are actually pretty good. So let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, gentle Octo. See you later, Octo. And oh, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. Didn't it give me a turtle shield? Uh, absorb shield. We can get rid of that. Let, let's see this, uh... Where's the bushwhacker? Where's the bushwhacker? It's a docks bushwhacker, too. That's actually... A, hey! Thank you for coming in. Uh, well, well let's see. Let, let's check it out against these guys. Oh, uh, that wasn't so bad. Uh, the reload sucks donkey dick on it, though. Woo. That, uh, is not really helping out very good. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think the Torg one was doing a lot more damage. But when you're close up, this thing just murders right in your face. <laughs> All right, so I think... I think we're going to end it out right there because we're about halfway through this DLC and I got to go get one more piece of DNA and we got a lot of more questions left. So I'm going to end this episode out right here. I want to thank you guys for watching. My name is Jay. More than Afterkill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking video. But don't worry about leaving a comment down below because this will be my last Q&A that I'm going to do for a while. I'm going to let you guys catch up on the Q&As and uh, we'll start a new series. We'll start something new for Sunday. So, like I said, thanks for watching and I'm going to see you guys later.